Hey there, this is Craig here with Craig Dacey Financial Coaching, and I'm here to talk to you about adding transactions inside of every dollar, right? There's two ways you can do it, on the computer or on your phone, and we're going to be looking at both and how to just do it really quickly, easily, because a lot of times we're on the go. Now, this is for those of you who are not using every dollar plus. This is if you're just manually entering those transactions, all right, so I'm going to be showing you that. But first, I do want to invite you to a free Facebook group. It's an every dollar support group. It's a place for you to just join other people using the same budgeting software. They're there to support each other, ask questions, get help, and all that good stuff. So join the conversations there. All right, let's take a look. First, we're going to look at the computer and how to add a transaction there. So we're going to scroll through this budget, and I'm going to go find... Um, common area and I'm going to use my favorites up here if I if I want to. Um, so let's just start with groceries. Let's say I go to the grocery store and I need to add a purchase. We, we buy something and I want to add it here. What I can do is right here it says add transaction. So I'm going to click add new and I'm going to just type in whatever I spent at the grocery store. If it was a hundred bucks, I can do that. I can title it right here. So if I want to be more specific, um, maybe it was at Walmart. I can track that expense there. So now you'll see it, sh it updates it and it says I have $200 remaining out of the 300. And if I click on it, it's going to list all those transactions. So if I go to the store again and I spend $50, um, let's just say we, we swung through Target to get some groceries. We spent 50 bucks. We're going to track that expense and you'll see it just lists them there for me. Nice and easy, super simple, easy to do. Now, the other transaction that you can do is if you get some extra money. So let's just click on my emergency fund. Let's just say um, I had leftover money somewhere and I wanted to put it toward the emergency fund or I was digging through my couch and I found 20 bucks. Um, I can come in here and I can just add $20 to my emergency fund and I can click it as income. And it's going to track that expense. So now here it's showing that I added $20. It's not going to throw off my entire budget. It's not going to make everything more complicated. It's just saying that I had that money there. I'm putting it into this fund so that it can be added there. Um, same thing at the end of the month. Let's say I finished the month with my groceries and I have 150 bucks left in groceries. Well, I can say instead of you know, I need to put that into the emergency fund. Well, that's what I would do. I would just come up here. I would click on emergency fund and I would add a income transaction of $150. So that's how you can do it on the computer. Now I'm going to show you what you can do on the phone when it comes to adding these transactions. So let's pull open my phone. And so as I scroll down, um, you'll see that my grocery item, if I click on it, all those transactions we just entered into uh, the on the computer they're there they're shown they they sync with the with the website so they are there ready to go so if I click back on groceries and I want to add a transaction you'll see up in the top right hand corner there's that plus sign so I just click on that and I can enter my purchase so if I go to the grocery store again this time I spend uh, 50 bucks again let's just say um, let's just say it's at Walmart again so I add that $50, I click save, and right there it shows the next $50. And you can see it's showing me how much I've spent at the top. I had $300 planned, minus $200 spent, I now have $100 remaining. Now if I go back, I can remember how we were talking about adding income. So I click on my emergency fund again. I can hit that plus sign up in the top right-hand corner, and let's just say I, again, found some money or or maybe my birthday somebody sent me uh, fifty dollars <laughs> hooray I wish that happened more often um, so somebody mails me fifty dollar check um, I can just title it b-day and I'm gonna up at the top center you'll see expense and income I need to make sure I click income because it's income and I save it so that's added to my fund balance so I planned zero dollars to go in there, but I actually received seventy dollars, and it's going to add it to the fund balance without throwing off the entire budget. Now, one last way to add in a transaction is just on your home screen. You'll see at the bottom left there's a plus sign. That's the same thing. If I click that, 
it's going to pull up the exact same screen. Now, the only thing I have to do is if I were to enter $50 at the grocery store, um, again, this time I'll do Target. Uh, I have to choose where it goes. So it says choose budget item. And then I scroll through and I find where I want it to go. Um, this can take longer depending on, I guess, just what how it can sometimes take longer depending on how you have your budget set up i had favorites set up at the top so they were easy to get to but this is one way to do it and then you click save and it's gonna be now when i click on groceries you'll see that new target transaction has been added i love how these sync together so computer phone um, they work together easily so if you're out and about you can type it in really quickly that's what i always recommend doing if not if you're if you don't have a phone that can access the app um, you can just wait till you get home log them on the computer all right and those of you using every dollar plus it's it's basically the same thing it's just when you log in you'll have an icon at the bottom of the screen that's going to say a transaction and you just drag it to wherever you want it to go so that's the only difference you just don't have to manually type it in you can drag it to the category that it goes to all right, that's how you add transactions inside of every dollar. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments box below. I'm here to help any way I can. I'll see you guys in the next video.